hey what's going on guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this particular video this is the part number 11 of our laravel tutorial for beginners series and in this video we're going to discuss forms and how to save data and if you try to go to the create or pk project that loc create and then you can see that we have a 404 not found because it is loading the create function of our post controller and as you can see we don't have any logic from here yet so all we have to do now is modify this function and to actually return a view so this should return a view coming from our post directory and um, create template and let's go ahead and and create that inside our post directory so new file and of course the name of our template is create blade create blade that php and then we're just going to copy the markup from this index that blade that php and paste it here and it should say create post instead of um, just saying post and then we're going to get rid of all this mark up here because we're going to use a form for us to uh, save information coming from a form into our database and for now let us save this and try to preview in our browser so refresh so as you can see we still have the pk project that loc create and we're getting a 404 not found that's because i think we need to specify first the post here before the create so post and then create and there you see the create post h1 that we have added in our create that blade that php file so let's try to add a form into this page and we're going to use laravel collective for that so they have a some sort of a template for forms and we just need to install and add some dependencies into our project so we can see here html so laravel collective and um we can also open up their website laravel collective and here we can see the different versions so for example 6.0 so installation for the laravel collective is here so composer require laravel collective slash html so we're going to do that in our code editor atom and we're going to open up the um integrate the terminal from our code editor atom and then paste just the composer required laravel collective so there you go and then enter we're just going to wait for a few seconds and now the installation is complete let's go back to the website and in here we have a guide on how to open up a form inside inside our uh, template so we have here opening a form and then we can just copy and paste this one and paste it in our create that uh, blade.php so below here let's just paste this code and try to change this in because this is how the default on how to open up a form by specifying the url on where to submit the data coming from this form but we can actually uh, change this so in here we're going to specify the action instead of the url so the action for this one is post um, controller and then add symbol and of course the store function inside our post controller class and we can also specify the method from here so it should be method and of course method with single quote and the 
equal and greater than sign and here we specify the method which is post also in here we can specify a division with a class uh, form group so this is actually coming from a bootstrap so we can also add a form label here so this will be form and then label and specifying that this is a label for our title and the actual label of our title field and of course we can also specify here the actual input so form and then text we can specify the name of our uh, input which is title and then the value so this is a create form so we should not uh, specify a default value and of course we can also specify classes here or additional attributes so for classes or for classes for this particular input and this should have a class form control and of course a placeholder for this particular input so equal sign and then greater than and the actual placeholder which is title so let's try to save this for now and let's go back to our browser to preview and try to see here we have the actual uh, label and input uh, field which has the placeholder title but i think we don't have yet the correct classes for our input so it, it looks ugly for now so let's go back to our code editor and try to see so we have here instead of class we have specified classes so save that and try to refresh and there you go we have a much much better input for our title and then we can also the same or we can also do the same for our body so we're just going to copy this and instead of title we're going to say body and of course this is for body also and body to and so with this placeholder and of course instead of text or using text it should be text area there you go and save that and refresh our page so we have a title and a body now and the last part is to add a submit button for our form so before the closing tag of, of of our form let's add the button submit which is form and then submit and of course we need to specify some values here also so submit and then of course the class for our button which is class and then uh, we can specify the btn class btn primary to signify that it is a button so save and refresh so now we have a complete form with all the field and of course the submit button and if you try to submit now so it redirect to another page and basically we're not doing anything for now because uh, we should modify also the store function of our post controller so let's go back first to our uh, code editor and edit our post controller so inside here i'm just gonna close this real quick and in here we need to add some logic to actually save our data coming from the form we can also add the validation from this function also so we can specify this and then the function validate and of course we need to have the request here and also the array of the rules which is for our title it should be required 
Okay, so it should be required. And also the body tag or the body or the body of our post should be also required. So and then we're just going to return a number for now, so one four three, something like that. Save this and go back to our browser, refresh, and then try to submit. So it, it is not allowing us to submit any data because it is empty for now. So but we don't have a message that it, it is submitting an empty uh, information. But if we try to have an information here and then submit. So as you can see, we now have the return information 143. So I think this video is rather long. So we're going to continue working on with this forms and how to save data in the next video. And I hope you learned something from this video and see you in the next video. Thanks.